indeed it is Pi Day today, approximately 3.14. But of course, it gives us free reign to whip up some ridiculous pie recipes. And we've got possibly the best pie recipe of them all. Lexi, thank you so much for joining us this morning. You have brought an me. absolute winner. It is the Mississippi Mud Pie. Yes, indeed. That is a lot of chocolate. It's a very chocolatey pie, but I don't think anybody's ever complained that they had too much chocolate, so... No. Okay, so first of all, the name. How does it get its name? The Mississippi Mud Pie is, as you can see, it's a very dense pie, and um, it's a oh. classic American favourite, and they say that it gets its name because the pie is actually so thick, and it's similar to the mud that you actually find on the banks of the Mississippi River, so... Okay, a lot to taste Not the greatest there. reference, mm -hmm. but... <laughs> But it makes Brilliant sense, and this does look like a lot of dense chocolate, but it looks delicious. Possibly the best pie we've made today. Okay, I need to Let's be put to work. What we're cool. going to do is we're going to start with our pie crust. You can see over here I've made one previously. Cool. So we're just going to put all of our dry ingredients into the Magi Mix. Very nice. So we've got our flour. We're going to put two tablespoons of caster sugar. This is just oh. a basic pie crust, and we're going to add the caster sugar just to give it a bit of a sweet taste. Because it's not sweet Pinch enough of salt. already. Pinch of salt. Crazy. Butter, just make sure that your butter's cold because that's going to allow your pie crust to kind of stick together nicely. Okay. Oh, wrong way. Okay. You're going to just blend the, all the ingredients together until you've got a nice fine crumb until it resembles, rem, resembles sea sand. Okay. Then we're going to chuck in our two tablespoons of water. One egg. One egg. How thick should our pie crust be? The pie crust you're aiming for about, I would say about half a centimeter thick because it will thicken up a little bit when you bake it. Okay, so we're gonna blend your pie crust until everything comes together nicely. Take oh. it out of the Magi Mix. Just um, knead it a little bit until you've got a smooth dough. Wrap it in cling film and refrigerate it for about an hour. Okay. Then what you're gonna do is just roll your pie crust out nicely line your pie dish. You can see here that I've um, stamped a little bit mm, with fork. The and that's just so that yeah. when it rises, it's, it doesn't crack. So we've blind baked ah. our pie crust. All right, Next, put me to work. Okay. you're gonna crack these six eggs into a bowl. Cool. I see our salati sugar goes in. We're gonna put our salati demerara sugar going in. Oh, lovely caramelly. And you're just gonna whisk that together nicely. While you're over here, oh, let's try I'm gonna melt this go. chocolate on the stove. So you've got nah. your dark chocolate melting. We're gonna put in our two tablespoons of golden syrup just to give it a nice rich flavor. Um, dark chocolate, is that a must for this? Dark chocolate's not a must. I mean, you can put in milk chocolate or white chocolate even, but because you because you're adding a lot of cream, it's it's better to do the to do the dark, the dark chocolate. Yeah, otherwise look, it gives I'm a big you a fan sweet. anyway. So over here we've got our dark chocolate, butter, a little bit of golden syrup. You've cool. got your sugar, your eggs, and your vanilla essence. Cool. Now and if we're you'd just like, going to beat that until it's smooth. If you'd like this ingredients list sent directly to your phone and to get into the running to win one of those awesome Salati hampers, all you have to do is SMS the keyword Salati to double three seven two eight. Right. Right. So our chocolate yeah. mixture here is nice and smooth. You Very can see nice. it's just combined it all nicely. Make sure when you are melting chocolate on a double boiler that your water is not touching the bottom of your bowl. And okay. the reason for that is that if it, if the water does bubble up onto the bottom of the bowl, your chocolate, which is a very temperamental sure. ingredient, is going to it's going to shock and become crumbly and just difficult to work with. Cool. Handle with care. Yes, right. Oh. So our chocolate is melted. Oh, that looks so good. Then cool. what you're going to do is just let it cool a little bit, just so that it doesn't cook your ingredients. Okay. Then we're going to mix these two together. I'm going to pour while you whisk. Okay. All right. Just oh, add this together oh, that's nicely. Amazing. What's great about this recipe is that it is very simple and very quick, and also made with typical ingredients that you would find in your home. So sure. I find it great for those last minute moments when people rock up at your house and you've kind of got nothing to. And, and a little goes a long them. way. Yes, with yeah. this, a tiny slice will leave you satisfied. Cool. So, how's this you. looking here? That's looking great. Cool. Okay, so as you can see, everything over here has been nicely combined. Yeah. We're going to grab our pie crust here. Sure. This pie is so big, we're running Pour out of space. Pour in your chocolate. Cool. Manage there. Yeah. Oh, 
Always make sure that you've got about a centimetre left because you never know how much the, 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 the filling is going to rise and next thing it spills over and it looks gross. So I'm going to hand that there to you. Go. You're just going to grab your pie, put it in the oven for about 40 minutes or just until the outside is set. And if you do this, you'll see it'll shake a bit like jelly in the middle. Don't worry, it is cooked because once it comes to room temperature, it will be firm. Mm, okay, awesome, so awesome. Our pie is going to go into the oven. Okay, and there's when our. When it comes out, you're going to have a glorious product. pie looking Ugh. like this. Look at that cross section of chocolate. It's absolutely That's crazy. Delicious. Over here, we've got some cream that we just whipped up. Cool. Cut your slice, cover it with a big dollop of whipped cream. Oh, Lexi. And what's a chocolate pie without some more some chocolate? Some sprinkles. Oh, well, again, Just if you'd like this, ingredients list sent directly to your phone. SMS the keyword Salati to 33728. You also stand the chance of winning a fantastic Salati hamper. It's got all sorts of baking goodies, aprons, all sorts of cool stuff to help you on your way to becoming a master baker. Dig in. Lexi, thank you so much. This is awesome. What a way to celebrate Pi Day. We're going to take a quick break. I doubt I'm even going to be able to dent this. <laughs> we'll continue with more of the tap dogs here in our studio. Oh, it's going to be a crazy Thursday. And, of course, we've got G-Sport coming up don't go too far okay the sweetness lingers longer with salati and espresso 